fast forward a few years, it's May 2020. I had no idea that we would have a, an incredible spike in anti-Asian racism. And I thought about Vincent Chin. I had no idea I would do, I think, 200 Zoom lectures and interviews and interviews with NBC News, uh, CNN, uh, um, NPR. It breaks my heart that my book went viral because of the pandemic and because of Atlanta. What was interesting was I myself went through some anti-Asian racism. You know, I was actually racially profiled outside my house by a white family who grabbed their kids. They thought I was going to give them the China virus. You know, I was on an elevator once and with coincidentally, a white man and I got onto an elevator and it was social distancing. We were all wearing masks and you, you could only have four people in the elevator. You know, I think it was the dentist's office, you know, and all of this. He came in, took one look at the three of us and went, oh no, and ran out. And as the doors closed, we were like, why did he do that? And then we all looked at each other. We realized, oh no, we're all Asian. I've had family members who told me on airplane flights, passengers requested to have their seat changed because they didn't want to be with them. So what happened was the Black Lives Matter protests began because of George Floyd. And LA, we had a curfew at 830. The National Guard came in. Uh, I, we could hear the protests just down the street. My editor, Simon Boughton of Norton, called and he said, you need to write about this. The first line of my afterward was, as I write this, more than 100,000 Americans have died from COVID-19. By December, which was the final edit that we did, the number went from 100,000. We had to keep crossing out that number and replacing it. So the book that it was 200,000, 300,000. So by the, before the book went to print, the last number was 440,000 people in America have died from COVID-19. And uh, one of them would be Corky Lee, whom I interviewed for the book and whose pictures are in the book. He died in January of 2021, and that broke my heart, and he became part of that number. I'm grateful that I had access to all this information to write this book, because this is still happening, because every time history repeats itself with racism or with this type of violence, the other history that repeats itself is people getting together to fight back, to protest. The protests led to the COVID-19 Hate Crimes Act that President Biden signed. He signed, the, when, when that law got passed, guess when it got passed? May 18th, 2021, Vincent Chin's birthday. He would have been 66 years old. So I think sometimes in working on this Vincent Chin book and the fact that I've known him for so long, I think he's always been reaching out to me. And I think that we're seeing the fruits of his legacy in terms of laws, and provisions being enacted, you know, his death enacted change. This author interview was produced through a partnership of the National Education Association and WETA. For more author interviews, please visit adlit.org.